well, when Monica decided to start a women's self-defense and a women's jujitsu program here at the gym, I was really excited about that. I thought that was the best idea. And I've been involved in martial arts for about 10 years and empowering women and children has always been a real passion of mine. So when she decided to start this program, I really wanted to get involved and jumped right in. And my goal was to learn as much as I possibly could. And since then, I've been helping Monica uh, facilitate the program. Um, it's been phenomenal, the response that we've gotten from the community and the uh, difference that I think we've made for a lot of women. And um, it's, it's one of the best things I've ever done. I decided to start coming to Dangerous Damsels because there have been several times where I've been in really scary situations where I felt unsafe and uh, I decided that I needed to take up some sort of self-defense and uh, learn how to protect myself. Uh, yeah, I was followed in the building and that was the last time that I had to put my foot down and uh, decide to take a self-defense class with the Dangerous Damsels. So I started the program um, in 2015. There, I had been doing jiu-jitsu for nine years at that point, or eight years at that point, and decided that there's not, I know what I gained from this program, from jiu-jitsu, as a sport aspect, and what it's given me, um, the confidence, um, the ability to not worry about what's going to happen around me as much because I know I can protect myself and I wanted to spread that to other women because I think women have a hard time it's intimidating to walk inside a jiu-jitsu gym for the first time and you go into a room with 30 men rolling around um, it's hard to make that commitment to start so I wanted to spread jiu-jitsu to females across across the, the world. Um, I have two, three different programs now. I go to Gracie NEPA in Scranton. I also, here at Harrisburg, and then in York as well. So there's three schools that have Dangerous Damsels program now. As I mentioned, I was involved in martial arts in a, another program before, and we had many, many self-defense type seminars and uh, training and things like that that were a part of that um, that training and there was some overlap and I feel like there were some um, good things about that but it was mostly striking and what I've learned since I've been training in jiu-jitsu and training in the um, Dangerous Damsels program is that the striking type self-defense classes um, have a couple of issues with them. First of all, as a woman, as a small woman, up against a bigger, stronger man, um, strikes are not going to do a lot. So, um, <clears throat> this uh, the benefits I think of this are that you're, the, the focus is more on control than on trying to overpower or hit or punch or kick a bigger, stronger opponent, which is, is really not going to be effective. And I think those kinds of programs can give you a false sense of security if you feel like you're being trained to handle yourself in a self-defense situation with nothing but strikes and, and um, kicks and punches. I think the main thing that separates us from other self-defense courses is most don't show what to do if you're on the ground. They show to punch and kick, and that's not necessarily very effective for a smaller woman um, or even a smaller person against a bigger, stronger opponent. Because if I hit somebody in the face, unless I get that perfect shot, they're going to come at me seeing red and want to go. They say everyone that comes into the gym says, I'll just knee him in the groin. That'll work. If that worked, we wouldn't need to be here. There wouldn't be one in six women getting assaulted every year, uh, or one in six women every minute getting assaulted if kicking them in the groin or kneeing them in the groin was effective. I have never done a self-defense course. Uh, well, maybe when I was younger I took karate, but I wasn't really into it. And uh, so this is the first self-defense course that I took, and I really love it. This is, um, in December, it'll be my second year with the Dangerous Damsels program. It's all of jujitsu. You know, it's self-defense 
Gracie Jiu Jitsu. Um, we do lots of what to do if you're standing, someone grabs your arm, someone, if you're sitting on the ground and someone approaches you into your space. Um, also, what to do if you just fall down? How do you get back up? How do you, if someone's sitting on top of you that's twice your size, how do you get them off of you? Um, scariest situation, someone between your legs, what do you do? Um, and we teach chokes and arm bars and kind of situation, situational awareness and what to do from different situations that show how you can get out of bad situations and different scenarios that might happen in a self-defense situation. I think going back to that issue of control, um, that control for me is, is two things. It's control of myself, of staying calm and not panicking, keeping control of my breathing, staying calm and focused, and having the, the confidence and the muscle memory to remember um, what the techniques are so that if I ever were to be in a situation where I needed the techniques that they would be there for me and I'd be calm and in control of myself and then the second thing is control of the other person that these classes and these techniques have taught me how to gain control of the situation whether from the bottom or from the top to, to gain control over that situation and neutralize it and get away. So our program it's a 12-week series, it runs continuously. People usually take more than one series, and the emphasis is on repetition. The most important lesson that I've learned from the Dangerous Damsels is confidence. I'm not afraid to walk down the street. Uh, you know, if something were to happen, I feel pretty safe that I could protect myself, and, um, and I will, and I can, so I'm pretty confident. I've never been attacked in a situation um, by a stranger or anything like that, but I feel like I use the techniques that I learned here all the time. Um, just that idea of, of feeling confident and in control. Um, I think people with self-defense training, with good self-defense training, carry themselves differently. They don't carry themselves like a victim. Um, I think they'd be less likely to be singled out as a potential victim. So I feel like even if you don't ever get attacked, the benefits of taking a class like this are um, you use them in your daily life, uh, every day in every situation. I, I know that there was a story a couple months ago, someone was, was bitten by an animal and they were able to use punch block to stop them from getting their face. So it, it's a very effective tools that we learn in every situation, not just self-defense against an assault. Don't forget to